Welcome to another video from Inzara.com. In this video, I will give a quick tour of the Team Vacation Planner Google Sheets template. This template can be used to calculate the number of employees who will be available on specific dates given the vacations that they are planning to take. This will help you determine whether you have enough capacity on every one of those days against the demand or the expected number of employees for every given day. This will help you identify if you are understaffed or overstaffed or properly staffed on any given day in the future. The template will save you a lot of time because all the data is nicely organized and you'll be able to quickly see from the calendar and the report whether you have understaffed days or not. Now let's take a look at how the template works. There are key inputs in the settings sheet where you will enter the planning period. The template supports a planning period of up to 366 days. Here we have entered 1st January to 31st December, but you can enter any dates as long as they are not more than 366 days apart. Step number two will be entering how many employees do you need on any given weekday. For example, I have indicated that Sunday and Saturday, I do not need any employees to be working. For example, for Wednesday, I don't need seven employees. I only need six. Then I can just put in six. This is my input on the demand or how many employees do I need. The holidays can be entered here in this table. This is just to make sure that if there is a company holiday, then it will automatically set the employees needed to be zero and the template will take care of that. Then we enter the employee data. We can enter the employee names when they were hired to the company and when, if they have left the company, you can enter that date. This is provided because because you're planning for a long, let's say one year period, new employees may join, existing employees may also leave. So the best way to handle that would be to enter a hire date and a termination date for each of the employee. And the template will take this into account when it builds out the capacity um, calculations. You can also choose whether certain employees will not be available on certain dates by just saying no. For example, employee one, let's say the employee one doesn't work on Tuesdays, then I can just put no here. That is how simply you can customize the input on availability of your employees. Now that we have entered that, we go into the vacation sheet. This is where we can enter for each employee their vacations. You notice that there is a start date and the end date. That's because the employees can take vacations, which are multiple days, and they can be entered in one row. For example, employee one is taking vacation from 2nd Jan to 15th Jan. So all of that will can be achieved by entering just one entry. And similarly, you can enter more employee vacations um, as you get more employees planning vacations. That's all the input that you need to do into this template. Now, the next two sheets are automatically populated and they are automated. So the calendar sheet is where you can come in and check the availability summary. So at the top, you see that there is the number of employees needed is automatically coming through. If you remember, we had set seven days for um, during the weekdays, except for Wednesday, we said it's only six. So you can see that the Wednesday, January 8th is six. And then January 1st, it's a holiday because it's marked in purple here and the employees needed will automatically become zero. So that's how the template will save you a lot of time by automating all these calculations and doing it accurately. Now employees available. So this row is automatically calculating how many employees are actually available. So for example, you see that the January 2nd, it shows that there are five employees available and you will see who are available. So those on green, those in green are the ones that are available. And you'll notice that the employees seven to 10 are white. And that's because they haven't even started work yet. Um, they will be starting uh, employment in around February, and that's why they are not included as employees available. So once again, the template will do these calculations by itself, saving you a lot of time. Employees on vacation is one. That's because employee one is taking vacation from January 2nd 
all the way through January 15th. And that is what we saw in the vacation sheet. So you see that the colors are um, provided to make you clearly and quickly see which employees are taking vacation, which days, and you can see um, that this calendar extends all the way for the entire 366 day period. And so it helps you plan your future um, capacity. Now, um, the available minus needed is the calculation which says whether you have enough capacity or not. When it's negative, it's kind of colored in red font. And that means you do not have enough capacity, you're understaffed. And you see that you're understaffed by two employees on January 2nd, and then understaffed by one employee January 6th and 7th. And that's because you have um, the different available number of employees for those days. Now, the availability calendar here for each employee date, you can scroll down and then you'll be able to go all the way to 100 employees. The template supports 100 employees at a time. And as I mentioned, you can add new employees to the setting sheet when new employees join. Now, let's go to the report sheet. The report sheet is a quick summary by month on how many total days in each month, how many holidays um, are there. This is coming from the company holidays that we enter in the setting sheet. Number of weekends, and the weekends are based on, you know, the fact that we chose um, Sunday to be no employees are needed, Saturday to be no employees are needed. So the template will assume that those are weekends and it will automatically calculate how many weekends in a month. It will then calculate how many working days in the month. That's nothing but total days minus holidays minus weekends. And then it will calculate the understaffed days. The understaffed days are the days where the available minus needed is negative. And you see that here. Based on the limited data that I've entered, January, we have 12 understaffed days out of 22 working days, and that's 55%. And that's how this calculation works. And you will see the total for the entire 366 day period here, and also shown here in bigger font at the top, total days, holidays, weekends, working days, understaffed, and the percentage days understaffed. Once you know that there are certain days that you're going to be understaffed in the future, this information will help you take the corrective actions to either bring in additional resources or to reduce the capacity needed or reduce the demand uh, by taking on fewer projects or planning your projects differently and pushing it out so that you can uh, meet whatever demand you can using the capacity. So whether you can increase the capacity or reduce the demand, the objective here is to make sure that you have good visibility to what's available in the future and take corrective actions to achieve your objective. Now, this is what the template does. If you have any questions about the features of this template, please let me know in the comments. And I will also put a link to a free version of this template, which has limited features. It doesn't, it has a calendar, but it only does for 31 days. And then it also supports only up to 20 employees. So if you only need for 20 employees, and if you um, only have a planning period of 31 days, then you can definitely use the free template. And I will put a link to both the templates in the video description below. If you're looking for an Excel version of this template, I will also put a link to it in the video description below. I look forward to your feedback to this template. Please let us know if you have any questions at all. Thank you very much for watching.